Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be explaining how you can keyframe expressions in After Effects. So to demonstrate that, I'll be using a wiggle expression to show how you can keyframe expressions right here in After Effects. So let's get started. So right here in After Effects, you can see I have two compositions. The first being the chain and the second being the tutorial. So I'll be using this chain expression to hold the layers in which I want the effect to take place. The first thing is that the, the two, composition, two layers here has the position property and I set the position right here in which it comes in and holds in for a while in the, in the center of the keyframes and then right here it goes back to the edge of the position so right here is the position in which I want the wiggle expression to take place and that's why I pre-compose this layer here so that I can use it as another layer in this tutorial composition so I'm just going to drag in the chain uh, composition right here so it becomes a layer and then the first thing is that I'll need to set in the expression and so for the expression I'm going to place it on the position property and to activate the position property I'm going to press P on my keyboard and then I hold uh, and click on this stopwatch icon to activate the expression window so I'm going to type in wiggle so the wiggle takes in two parameters the first being the frequency and the next being the amplitude so for the frequency I'm going to set in a value of 10 but then for the amplitude, I'm going to send a value of 30. Then I put my expression with a semicolon. Then you see the expression now takes place everywhere along the composition. I want the expression to take place just right here at the center of these two keyframes. So I'm just going to come back to this tutorial composition and then I'm going to come into my effects and preset and I search in slider control. I drag this onto the layer here and then I'm going to pick grip this expression, just the expression here. I select it, come right here to this pick grip, and I set it onto the slider control right here. So you now see it now changes the frequency to slider control slider. So after doing that, you now see that the slider has a stopwatch, meaning you can now uh, keyframe it. So I'm just going to come right here to this chain. I want the first keyframe to be right here at the start. I set the keyframe for the slider control move right here and set another keyframe so to make the slider um, keyframes be visible I'm just going to come right down here to effects slider control we now see this the keyframes of the slider control so I'm going to set it in here and then I'm just going to match it up so what I'm going to do is that for the start you now see the slider control is set to zero which is okay because I don't want it at the start I want it right here when it's at the center of my composition so I'm going to set it a value of 30 the same with here the value of 30 and then at this end you now see you now go back to zero which is what i want select all these keyframes i hit f9 easy is the keyframes if i play this it has an effect just right here and when it goes back it stops that's it for today's video hope you learned something new today please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button thanks for watching and see you in the next video peace out